happy Sunday, y'all. Today is the third Sunday, and uh, church was really good. We had a, a visiting pastor who was helping us with our uh, some business with the church. He was there, and he was the one that actually preached, and he did good, and he preached on the Lord's Prayer. And when reciting the Lord's Prayer, um, you know, he was saying that we teach our kids to say the Lord's Prayer before they need to go off to school at three years old, but... Do we really apply or do we understand what the Lord's Prayer is saying? Go ahead and put it up, baby. So um, we went to Sam's. So as my son bringing in, we got the strawberry lemonade, the regular lemonade, the kind I showed y'all. used to be $6.98. Now it's $8.98 for the uh, case of it. Um, but it's good. You just let it get real, real cold and it's sugar-free. Well, it has, you know, some type of sugar in it. Um, so he's putting that up and then we bought water and I, and I bought some bleach, but I told him because it's so heavy and I'm limited to this space right here where I'm sharing these videos right now. Um, cause over on the other side of my table, I actually have a garment rack full of things I'm selling. So, but anyway, enough of that. I wanted to show y'all what I actually purchased. And so, um, I'm gonna start right here. So I got the honey nut Cheerios from Sam's. I got from Brookshire's, I got these chicken drum drumsticks. If y'all see, they were $4.03. They're 97 cents a pound. Would have been $5.31 if they wouldn't be on sale. But I'm not going to cook all these. I'm probably going to do like four of them. I'm going to make myself, for my family today, I'm doing meatballs. But um, for myself, I'm actually doing um, okra with the uh, stewed okra. And I'm putting um, some chicken in it and sausage and shrimp. So this is the chicken I'm going to take. And uh, I might share the recipe. It just depends on how much time. I We got out of church about 1030. And I'm just now getting home. It's almost 1 o'clock. But I like to go out at the church on Sunday. Because one, it's not that busy. And two, usually you can find whatever it is you're looking for. Because it's fairly early on a Sunday. We get out at 1030. And a lot of people are just getting to church at, at 11. Because we only have one service and it started at 9. Anyway, so I got these chicken, the the, the drumsticks. Also, y'all, I got me, um, I got um, St. Louis style ribs. And look, $6.48 for that one pack. And I'm going to just go ahead and move it out of the way. And this pack was, I think, six thirteen or something like that. When they have ribs on sale, I try to go ahead and get them because at any time you can go and want to cook ribs and you're going to pay $13. What I wish is that I could have somewhere to store them because I would go ahead and get about 20 of them, honestly, and put them up for our reunion because that's a good buy. But they may actually go cheaper. Then I got, y'all, I ended up paying $20 for this ground beef just because I didn't want to go anywhere else. And I really like to use ground chuck. But I'm using with eighteen forty eight, but with tax. But I'm I'm making meatballs today, so I wanted to go ahead and get get everything in one store because I had I didn't want to go at the Sam's and the other store. I was done. <laughs> these I had a hard time finding these. I usually get them at the dollar store for a dollar. They were a dollar eighteen at the Brookshire store, but I went ahead and got six because I'm actually using my last one. And I'm telling you, I have to I have to have these. They're in my purse. They're in my desk. <laughs> They're in my cabinet. I just have to have my have a few in my car. I just like to stay fresh. Okay, and these are uh, big, nice lemons are dollar ninety seven each. So um, I think I'm trying to see how many pounds of lemons. I think this is two. I can't see with the weight, but I think it's two pounds. So I went ahead and got me two because I like to put lemons in, in everything I drink. And I'm a, I'm cutting back from the black uh, from the dark tea because I just had my teeth cleaned and they were staying pretty bad from their teeth this last time. But she told me to start using the uh, optic white Chris. It's real good. See, and I told her, I said, you know, I'm going to have to stop listening to people without doing my own research. Well, but honestly, I had read this. I had read where whitening toothpaste and stuff like that um, make your teeth sensitive. And she said that it won't. So I'm going to give it a try. I had run out of these. These are because I have retainers at the top and bottom. It's hard to get in between your teeth. But this thing has a little threader that you can use and go in between your teeth to, to clean it. Because you have to keep that. Uh, you have to keep up with your oral hygiene. So I got those. I got these scrub daddies. I bought one from somewhere. And I think I paid like $3 and something for it. And this was $9 for four. 
So I like to have them to clean my tub. <sighs> Sam's got me, guys. I'm still undecided as to whether I'm gonna take these back or not. So these right here are 1447. That goes back in the car. That's for my office. Uh these were 1447, but look, they're only 28 ounces. And they weren't on sale. But this was three dollars off, and it's thirty-four. So that's six ounces more. Uh, and I'm I'm debating whether I'm going to take these back and exchange it for these. Now I haven't thought about that yet. So all these were fourteen something each. But I just love to put them in my clothes. This with the Priscilla pods. I'm telling you, you could wash your clothes. I had some stuff I had washed and put up from last summer, and I'm trying to see, you know, because it's almost time to switch your wardrobe out. Some things you could do all year, but some of those clothes still had that Perseal and Downy smell. I just recently started using this one, but this has been my go-to. When I tell y'all that smell still in clothes that I had stored away a year ago, my goodness. Okay, so I got some uh, Gala apples. These were only $1.97. Y'all know my favorite. Y'all know what I got. I got my Cosmic apples. I only have two of them, but I don't see them. Here they are. I only about two. I like to get them from Walmart. But I got these from the Brooks store. Uh, now, Kroger and Albertsons right now have them 97 cents. And uh, uh, I'm going to go and see what they look like. Because uh, I know Albertsons got some good cosmetics. That's the first, first place I found them at. So I'll probably go get some of the sales. I paid $1.97. It's just because I wasn't going to all those different stores. So I got one for Monday and Tuesday. Um, also, I need to go get my nails done. So don't pay any attention to that. Yeah, I'm going to church my nails looking right. Because it ain't about me. It's about him. Okay. Uh, Kiwi has really gone up. I couldn't find them in the regular store, you know. So I got these from Sam's. Because I was reading what they're good for you. In which I love them. Look how big they are. And y'all know what I want to do? I'll tell y'all later. I ain't going to even talk about it. I'm just going to do it. <laughs> Sometimes you talk your ideas. And before you even sit down and figure out how you're going to do it, somebody done jumped on it. So I'm just keep it to myself. Anyway, um, y'all, these Driscoll strawberries. Four ninety eight at Sam's and the grocery store had them three ninety eight. But these are some very very good strawberries. What I'm gonna do? I got the strawberry kiwi. I got a mango in there, and y'all see I got grapes, pineapple. I'm gonna cut all this fruit up and make my own fruit tray. Cause I was looking at the fruit trays, they're like twenty dollars and stuff like that. Nah, I probably spend more than twenty, but I know this fresh, and I'll be able to restock it. I'll be able to fill up my thing twice. I got me a chicken because I'm going to do me some some kind of chicken soup or something for lunch this week. I'm not sure what. Then I bought this Caesar salad kit. Now, y'all, look at this salad. It's, 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 well, it'd be more lettuce in here than it look like. But this says that it's actually three servings. Look. No, this say five servings. But I think it's it's kind of kind probably conditioning. I didn't see any brown. I don't usually buy stuff like this, but I went ahead and got it. If nothing else, I have me a piece of this baked chicken with this tomorrow. I don't know. Might have for dinner. I don't, I'm not sure. Then I bought me, bought me some broccoli for red. So I want to do more vegetables and fruit. Doesn't that look good? This was like three dollars and something, and this is two pounds. So I think that's a pretty good deal. And with this, you don't have anything to throw away. So I can. I'm not sure if I'm gonna cook it or just eat it raw. <laughs> Cause I do like raw broccoli. Then I got some. Um, this is my cucumbers. Um, I got some warmer tomatoes. These were two pounds for a dollar. That's all I got. So I'm going to go back before the sale ends. I got some French style green beans. I got some reduced fat milk. I got these potatoes. They were two forty seven for a five pound bag. And look, they said they would have been washed three times. So we'll see. Here are the grapes. I haven't bought grapes from the store in so long because usually they go bad. But like I say, I'm making me a fruit platter. And, um, these were seven dollars and something at Sam's. So it's three pounds, but I want to hear you got them. This bread is a butcher store today, ninety-seven cent. I got that. I was out. I got my peanuts from for work for breakfast this week. Y'all, I hadn't had these frescas in so long. I remember I was working for the government. Uh, my senior year of school, I was working for our local government, and what my my first job, y'all, I was uh, I worked on a cooperative office education job my senior year so I, I had an eight o'clock computer class and I get out of school at 11 45 my dad would come pick me up and me and my friend would go to work and so what we did is we type tabulated well and corrected uh well we typed and correct we typed and tabulated and mailed corrected utility bills and we also did like if a person had a delinquent account 
Most times these accounts have been turned over to the credit bureau services. We have to do an itemized statement of the account. We'll go back and, and um, do a report that show what their charges were, um, and how much they owe, how much they had paid and all that. And we would send it to the credit bureau. That's what I did at my senior year of high school. And I worked there from August of my senior year until the August I left to go to Grambling. Yeah, that's what I did. And so then also I had to ask the guy about this pineapple. I think it was $1.97 and it's already ready to be cut up. So that's going to be perfect for my smoothie. I mean, I'm sorry, not my smoothie. I got some cut up for my smoothie. This is actually to eat fresh. So what I'm doing, I'm going to make, I'm taking the kiwi, the strawberry, I got mango. They didn't have any cantaloupe. Or Sam's didn't have cantaloupe. The other store did, but they were like $4. I was like, mm, ah, nah. So I got to get cantaloupe. I'm going to have to find some on sale or whatever. They look good enough for me to pay that for. The last one I got wasn't even sweet. So this is all I have on Rambling. But I want to say welcome all my new subscribers. Thank y'all for stopping by. You know, I'm not a fashion nista. I'm not a makeup bureau. I don't... Um, now, I did my kids' hair growing up. And I kept their hair cute. I've been doing my hair since I was about 13, 14. Because... I would go to the beauty shop and I would be disappointed in the way my hair would come out. So I would wash it and redo it. So that's why y'all see me with my same, <laughs> with my same style most of the time. Just a roller set. But it's going to always be my hair. You know, some days, like today, I got it straight. But anyway, enough of rambling. I just wanted to come on and say, show y'all what I got. Welcome my new subscribers. And let everybody know it's all love over here. No matter what you're going through, whether it be... You know, you're dealing with some type of illness, cancer or whatever. Uh, you're grieving. You know, I understand, you know, the grief process. I'm, I'm dealing with some grief as well. You know, whether you're going through financial hardships, just know that the season you're in is not, it's not stable. You're not going to always be there. Just like today, it's still winter. And spring is not to next week. The seasons are going to change. Every season in your life is going to change. You know, my pastor always say, he say, if you're not going through a storm, he say, you either getting, you're going through, he say, you got different stages. You're getting ready, you're going through, or you're coming out. So we all go through. We all go through. Whether we believe in God, no matter who we serve. You know, I pray that all of you know who God is and that you serve him. You know, and, and then, then like the pastor was saying today, he said, you know, it's not just about claiming to be a Christian. It's living the Christian life. And it is. And it's not easy. It's not easy. You know, and don't think that just because you're a Christian or because I'm a Christian, we don't make mistakes, we don't stumble, we don't have hardships, we have all of that. But the difference is when you're grounded in God, you know he's with you when you're going to him. And the thing about it, he's always there. Always there. And nobody can do anything to you without his permission. Sometimes, y'all, a lot of times it's just a test. So remember, whatever it is, if you're in a hard situation right now, you're going through. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will feel no evil. I'll walk through. I'm not sitting there either, okay? Much love, everybody. I'll talk to y'all later. Let me put all this stuff up. <laughs> Yesterday, y'all, oh, I, did, I, I didn't get a chance and I wanted to so bad I forgot. I wanted to show y'all. Yesterday, we did lasagna. My church member, she's new in the kitchen. She's been there a couple of months, but she comes from food service. She made a lasagna from scratch. Y'all, that lasagna was so good. And my son even told me he don't like lasagna, but he liked her lasagna. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. And then I baked, y'all baked five cakes. I did a lemon cake, pineapple cake. I did a yellow cake with caramel filling, icing, I mean. I did a yellow cake with buttercream. And then I did a chocolate. So, yeah, I did a lot of baking. Y'all, I went to bed Saturday morning about 3.30. When I got a tub, got ready for bed, it was 3.30. But I, what I did, I went ahead and iced them, all the cakes. I did. Sometimes I get up in the morning and do it, but what that does is slow you down. So, y'all, I'm rambling. Okay. Talk to y'all later. Y'all be blessed. And wherever you are, make someone smile. Okay? Much love. Bye.